fire we've seen throughout this series quickly outgrew anyone's ability to control it. But they all started small, and at one point in every fire, an employee reacting quickly with a portable fire extinguisher could have changed the course of events. we don't want you to do is get too close when you first start to fire it up because you can see it come back on you. Fire experts agree there are two primary mistakes people make with portable fire extinguishers. The first one? Underestimate the fire and overestimate what that fire extinguisher is going to do. They've got to understand that they're called first aid fire appliances. That means they're supposed to be used in the very first couple of minutes of a fire. The second common mistake people make is thinking they know how to use the fire extinguisher, but not practicing in advance. And I've gone to a lot of fires where there's a fire extinguisher hanging on the wall. And we say, well, did anybody think to use the extinguisher? The answer was no. This video will assist you in making the right decisions when you have a fire in your workplace. Evacuating other people from the area and notifying the fire department first knowing how to protect yourself if you decide to fight the fire, and incorporating hands-on training techniques into your own safety activities. Those three things pretty much assure that you got the fire department coming, you've done what you can to limit damage, but you're protecting life. In the first few seconds of a fire, there are specific questions which determine whether you should attempt to fight the fire with a portable fire extinguisher. Do you know where your extinguisher is located without having to look for it? Do you know how to use it and what to expect when you pull the pin? You don't know what the duration of an extinguisher is unless you've used one. You can't, you can, you can have in your mind's eye the fact that you think you know, but you won't really know till you squeeze that trigger and watch how long it takes before it runs out of pressure. Do you have a clear escape route behind you so you won't be trapped by the fire? Here's the, one of the larger ones. Is your extinguisher large enough to fight the fire? All fire extinguishers have a rating to them. 1A, 2A, 3A, etc. That rating has to do with how big a fire. And there's kind of a ground rule. The smaller the extinguisher, the smaller the fire. Does your extinguisher match the type of fire you're fighting? Wood, paper, and cloth. It's got a pictograph here that shows you a picture of a trash can, which is real typical of a Class A fire. There are three basic classes of fire, and all fire extinguishers are labeled according to those fires they can put out. Class A are for ordinary combustibles. Class B extinguishers are for flammable liquids. And Class C are for electrical equipment and wiring. ABC multi-purpose extinguishers can be used on all three classes of fire. And you aim this at the base of the fire and sweep... Most back. importantly, do you feel confident in your ability to put out the fire? If you answered no to any of these questions, evacuate and don't attempt to put out the fire. And if you've decided to use the fire extinguisher, begin evacuating others from the building first and make sure help is on the way. If a fire breaks out, you've got to notify the fire department and use the extinguisher in that order. You don't grab the extinguisher and try to fight the fire and then if that extinguisher runs out, then grab another one and try to put it out and grab another one and try to put it out without notifying the fire agency. Because fire grows at an incredibly rapid rate once it goes to open flame production. And if you haven't gotten the fire department en route, you're in deep trouble. They must take responsibility because when it happens, it's gonna involve them more than they would have ever imagined. The loss is tremendous, not only financial, emotional, and physically. Um, the scars don't go away. That's the message. And it's easy for people to underestimate the power of fire, believing they can control it without help. They think they can. They think they can.
See how it flares up? So you want to approach differently. Hands-on training is an important key to becoming comfortable using a fire extinguisher before there's a real fire. And that's one of the reasons, of course, why it's a good idea to have demonstrations or let people see this go on. Even if everybody can't do it, at least everybody can see it. And so you just pull it out, and then you lift this up. Mm -hmm. And training with coworkers can offer additional sure. benefits. And you sweep back and forth like this at the base of the Two fire. Two people are safer than one in fighting a fire. And in case something goes wrong, you never know if there's an aerosol can in that wastebasket that's on fire and suddenly it explodes and it could knock you out or injure you in some way and your buddy would then be able to get you out safely. It's important to train that way. The four-step procedure called PASS is the best way to practice using a portable fire extinguisher. Pull the pin to unlock the operating lever. Aim the nozzle or hose low at the base of the fire. Squeeze the lever to discharge the extinguishing agent and sweep from side to side until the flames appear to be out. That's the PASS system. Pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. In a real fire, if you've done everything right, but the extinguisher still fails to put out the fire? It's a one-shot deal. You use it. If it doesn't fight the fire, you get out, get everyone out, let the fire department go in and effectively fight the fire. Pre-fire planning and training can give you the edge you'll need to react quickly in a fire emergency. But remember that portable fire extinguishers are tools for small fires only. They've got to understand that they're called first aid fire appliances. A fire extinguisher is to a fire what a Band-Aid is to a cut.